In this video, we're gonna go over a complete tutorial on how to use GoToLister in 2025. All of the supplies that I believe are essential and that I mentioned in this video will be linked below. And this is going to go over the new send to Amazon flow, which many softwares are having issues with. The API is a little buggy, but in this video, we're gonna go over the absolute fastest, most headache-free way to list books in 2025 with GoToLister and basically guarantee that when you sit down to list your books, you're going to get a box out every single time. And yeah, I recommend using a bathroom scale if you're on a budget. So let's dive so in. So step number one is get all your books barcode up just like this. Put them in piles. And the reason for this is we have speed mode and you're going to be able to quickly scan these books in. Next, invest in a one nice scanner. This is a USB wired scanner, only $20. This is going to scan the barcodes of the book so we can quickly- Also, go ahead and invest in a Rolo printer. This is gonna allow you to print the F and SKU labels. This is gonna save you a lot of money. And uh, cause Amazon charges like 30, 40, 50 cents. Like the rates always go up. So definitely invest in the 303 through four. Uh, again, that's gonna be linked below. And then you're gonna to wanna to get the four by six labels right here. As you can see, this is a Dymo. Uh, I do not recommend Dymos, although, although they do all right. Um, just a little bit more buggy. The cool thing about Rolos is we can toggle this from book labels, the F and SKU labels, or any item for that matter that you're selling on Amazon, to the four by six off-brand house labels. Again, those are linked below. So you're gonna save way more money over time with this trusty, reliable printer. If you're just getting your Rolo printer set up to your computer for the first time and you want to learn how to connect it to GoToLister and completely get it set up, watch the video below. It's a very in-depth video, so I'll link that below as well. But for now, let's dive on to how to So now let's system. dive into GoToLister and get our first batch. So here we are within the batch. You're going to select Fulfilled by Amazon first. You're going to put for the batch name where you got your product slash the date. That's what I personally like to do. Smart pricing is going to allow you to make more money on your more profitable books. Listed by put AV and remember this works for all products, not just books, but I'm focusing on a book flow in this tutorial. Uh, add your shipping address here. You'll be good to go. You definitely want to label your own products. If you pay Amazon again, it's going to be like 30, 40, 50 cents. The, the fees always go up. Packing type, I'm packing individual, individual units. Box content, go ahead and select. I'm going to use uh, go to lister. And if you're watching this video on a future date and 2D barcodes are available, go ahead and select those because those get checked in faster by Amazon. But right now, they're temporarily not available. Batch version, I wanna use new batch flow. That's your only option. Click on create batch. Now we're in the batch. We're ready to rock and roll. Go ahead and select G for condition. You guys can copy my philosophy here. My philosophy is I'm gonna list all the books in good condition just because I can list them so much faster. And for my condition description, I'm just gonna use a generic condition note like this. Satisfaction guaranteed, ship directly from Amazon. Thank you. Now I can speed scan all these items in. I don't have to toggle anything. It's the fastest flow. It's what big, big sellers do that do, you know, multi millions a year. Um, it's all about efficiency. So, but if you want, you can toggle from good to very good. You can write different condition notes. You can write coffee stains or in the, but whatever you want, you can be more detailed, but I recommend keep it simple. Blister, we do require that you enter your source and buy cost. That's just because I'm a huge believer in tracking your numbers and tracking where you got your product. That way you can, at the end of the year, see how profitable Goodwill was versus the library versus if you're doing retail arbitrage, Walmart or whatever, you can see your most profitable sources. Go ahead and enter your buy cost. Your buy cost is just going to be whatever you paid for the product. So if you bought a hundred books and you paid $250 for those books or $215 for those books, your buy cost is going to be $2 in 15 cents per book. That's generally how I like to do it. I like to look at all my receipts, add them up. How many products do I have? And just divide that. Again, this is gonna allow you to be fast. Now, all we have to do is scan the products in. We make sure that scan bar is selected and we rapid scan all these books in. And this is the fastest listing software on the planet. So of course we can scan faster than Amazon can process them. That's the benefit of using GoToLister. And as you can see, they are all being added to the batch one by one. So now go ahead and scan all of the books here into the batch. So I want to be very clear about two things. We're only listing one box of books at a time. And number two, my nose is ugly because I was at wrestling practice and got headbutted today. So we're only listing one box of books at a time. Super, super important to realize that. So now we're going to click on send batch here. And this is going to show confirmed Confirming list. Now I would expect this to take anywhere from 15 minutes to about 
probably a little bit over an hour. And so what we're gonna do, basically what's happening now is all of these listings are being created, which can take up to an hour. And if they don't get cr created within the hour, what we're gonna do is just help you get the books out. And we're gonna help you get the books out the door by 100% guaranteeing a result, which means if there are problem items, Amazon's not letting listings be created for X, Y, Z, you can try listing them on Seller Central. Seller Central is having problems. It's just something that we have to deal with as a community. And the solution that we thought was best was to force send your items, auto remove any problem items. That way you get your box out the door pretty quickly. So hopefully you understand that. I'll be going over that in a second too. Uh, we're going to push everything through now. So this is like a huge, huge update that's really allowing you to have speed. So in the meantime, what I recommend you do is open up a new tab where you can duplicate this tab. And then just click on create batch and make a new batch. All right. And now you're going to scan in more books. So all these books have been listed. What I recommend you do is get more books to be listed in the meantime, while that first batch is loading, scan all of the books in the new batch and just rinse and repeat that process. So we're going to create batch, scan products in, send the batch, make a new batch and just keep doing this over and over again. This is the absolute fastest way to list books. Pro tip, be sure to download the GoToLister mobile app. It's included with your subscription. It's gonna show you all your profit numbers, how much inventory you have available at Amazon, how much profit you'd make if all the inventory sold today. But more importantly, it's gonna tell you when your batch is complete. You're gonna get a mobile notification when your batch is done. When loading. your batch is done loading, you are going to see, most likely, hopefully not, but most likely you're gonna see this little red arrow queue. And this is super, 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 super important. So what you're gonna do, is click on this. What is this? These are all of the books or items that were not able to be listed. And most of the time, the issue is time. You just need more time to list these. So what we're gonna do is download these error items. And the reason why at GoToLister, we allows you to do this is we want you to get boxes out the door. We want you to start making money, send stuff to Amazon. We don't want you to have to fix every SKU and have everything be perfect before sending it. We would rather you get 99% of the material out and then the few percent that's not good. Um, and it might be more for you, it just depends, you know? And if you're getting a ton of errors, it might actually be better just to simply restore batch and then resend it. Um, but in this case, if you're happy with the results for how many items did not make it, and again, usually it's time is the issue. Amazon just needs more time to create these. So what I recommend you do is click on download. It's gonna download all of the error SKUs with the name of the batch and then you can, create. you can create a new batch and instantly add the error items. There. And within the new batch, you can easily re-upload all of the error SKUs simply by selecting CSV file and click on upload. And it is automatically gonna add those items to a new batch. And I recommend you do this immediately. Why? The moment an item is added to the batch, that's when the listing is attempting to be created. And so you wanna get these listings in here sitting in the next batch and there's gonna be a higher chance that they get pushed through on the next. So batch. back to the original batch, the we got the notification on our phone, it's ready, or you're just, you saw on your computer that it stopped loading. Now what you can do is move on by clicking in, on the box content, okay? So now we're inside of the box content phase. So what we're gonna do is click on add all to box one. Be sure auto print is off, otherwise it's gonna print all the labels and it prints them a little bit slower if you print them during this phase. The fastest way to print your labels currently, and this is uh, February, 2025, is to click on print all here and watch how fast this is. All the FN SKUs are ready to go. Boom, they come out. And if you had 50 labels, it would literally print all 50 like that. And this is gonna be in the exact order that you scan them in. So now you go back to the books, label them in the order. That's why it's important to stack them up in order. Now you're gonna label the books, put them in the box. We've already told Amazon everything's in box one. If you happen to have two boxes, what you'll do instead in this phase is you can actually take the book and the barcode automatically added to box one. So you could just scan in all the books. And during this phase, if you wanted to, you could turn on auto print. And what's gonna happen here, just so you guys can see, is when you scan this in, it is going to print the label. So how convenient is that? You can scan, label, put it in the box. So take this book, label it, and put it in the box. And then when you fill up the box, boom, just for a visual so you guys know, <laughs> you put in a book in a box. 
what you're gonna do next is click on add box. So let's just say we fill up that whole box. Let's just say you have 400 books. This is possible. A lot of people like doing it this way. What you'll do next is scan the next book. My mom bought me this book, never read it, but it looks like a good book. It's about to go to Goodwill because I'm moving. Actually, I'm about to travel the world, go to China for a while. That's another story. So you scan it, boom. Now this is automatically going into box two. Okay, so you see how every time you add a box, it's adding books into that box. So this is the box content phase, but for simplicity and for speed, it's way, way, way faster in terms of physically printing the labels. You saw how fast those labels printed and just simplicity. If everything's in one box, you can simply click on add all to box one right here. And that is what I believe currently in February, 2025 is the absolute fastest flow. Scan all the books in to a batch, submit the batch, get the mobile notification on GoToLister, open up box content here, click on print all up here because it's going to print them super freakishly fast. Then disable auto print so you don't print the labels twice. Click add all to box one. Or alternatively, you could leave auto print on, click on add all to box one and don't click print all. And it will also print all your labels, but it prints them slow currently for some reason. So I recommend turning that off, clicking print all, add all to box one. And then from here, once you do that, click on continue to box info, enter the box weight, enter the box dimensions. It's right here. Most boxes I reckon, uh, the best size is 12 by 16 by 12 or even 12 by 12 by 12 for used books. But whatever your box size is, put it there, click on submit and you are good to go. Now this phase here is going to take a while. So this is where I would go to another batch, open up a tab again and start working on wherever you're at another batch. So the placement options are confirmed. So this is called the placement phase. And all we're gonna do here, super easy, select the cheapest one. Don't overthink it. This is tallying up what the shipping costs are plus the placement fees. And in this case, 811 is the cheapest one. It's gonna tell you exactly where it's going. Click on accept charges and we're good to go. So here we are in the final phase where you will print all labels. And all we're gonna do is take our Rolo printer. We're gonna expand this open. We're gonna put the four by six labels in. We're gonna calibrate it and you can easily calibrate this printer by putting in the label right here. And I'm risking it as you can see. I'm keeping it on the Dymo roll. You can also put this in a box or you can just pay 20 bucks for a label printer or invest in the four by six labels that are stacked up on top of each other. Those are, that's actually my recommendation um, versus a roll. The roll is going to uh, maybe cause you some pain like me. <laughs> and now what you're gonna do is click on that. And UPS actually has free four by six labels. If you set up a business account, you can get free, a stack of free, Four by six labels for life. Uh, why say for life? Um, actually, yeah, for life because they're always free. And now click on print labels. You're going to print two labels. One is for UPS. It goes on the outside of the box. And the second one is for Amazon. That goes outside of the box. Later in the year, we're going to have 2D barcodes again, hopefully like in the next few weeks, which allow you to get faster check-in times. But for now, we're just focusing on coding this and making sure it's the best possible shipping software to Amazon, and then we'll add all the bells and whistles later. So currently no 2D barcode. So it's just two labels that you put on the box in this phase and you're good to go.